Shockingly, however, you will not need to pay out a ludicrous measure of money to get your hands on this pro board. It costs £454 in the UK, $499 in the US and €529 Euros in Europe, so it's towards the low finish of the cost range for displays that have proper professional aspirations. The key inquiry, however, rotates around quality and whether the ASUS can take care of business for professionals at a somewhat humble cost to fit the bill for our best monitor roundup. Design and features, an incredible particular for standard imaginative responsibilities. Heaps of customizability make the ASUS simple to squeeze into your life. Include set isn't exactly sufficient for top-of-the-line video. The ASUS ProArt PA279CV conveys a strong arrangement of features. That ought to satiate a lot of inventive professionals. The blend of a 27 in slanting and a 3840x2160 resolution is a victor with regards to jobs. It's not immense to the point that it'll overpower your work area, and that high resolution implies a thickness level of 163 ppi. That is unshakable, and it implies you have the fine detail required for exact inventive errands close by heaps of on-screen land for spreading applications around. It's likewise a move forward from this display's ancestor. The ASUS Pro Art PA278 CV had a 2560x1440 resolution, which implied less fortunate detail and less room on the board. Within, the PA279 CV utilizes IPS innovation, which is nothing unexpected. It's the best monitor equipment for variety precision and survey points. ASUS promises that this board renders 100% of the sRGB variety range and the display is common insured for variety exactness. Obviously, the PA279 CV conveys 10-cycle variety delivery, so it'll deal with an excess of a billion distinct shades. It has a supportive non-brightness surface, so you will not be irritated by reflections. That is an unshakable start for inventive work. However, there are a few regions where the PA279 CV is a smidgen more common, and a few different departments, where the cost directs a few exclusions. The reaction season of 5ms is fine for regular use, however it's not particularly fast and you can in any case see a touch of ghosting while you're moving the mouse. The Asus has versatile sync that runs at refresh rates somewhere in the range of 40Hz and 60Hz. That pinnacle refresh rate provides smooth movement and is fine for standard liveliness and innovative assignments, yet it's just customary costing this much. A transition to 120Hz, matching up would provide a perceptible leap in perfection and speed. ASUS has attempted to fill the hole with its fast delivering mode, which plans to reenact execution at higher refresh rates, yet it's not generally so competent as having a superior refresh rate top. It's anything but no joking matter now, in light of the fact that most liveliness broadcasting circumstances actually use frame rates far underneath 60 FPS, yet a higher local refresh rate would have permitted better future proofing and for more use in specific undertakings. Similar to game turn of events, it simply is more appealing, as well. The 60Hz pinnacle is matched with heaps of video and communicated-driven preset modes. There's the ordinary sRGB decision and the HDR accommodating DCI-P3 setting, and the ASUS likewise has choices for the transmission accommodating DICOM and REC 709 variety spaces. In any case, there's one significant exclusion here, an Adobe RGB mode. That implies the PA279 CV is less reasonable for designers who need precision in Adobe Imaginative Suite. Outwardly the ProArt has a smooth metallic stand, thin bezels and a strong body. It'll take a gander at home in a professional setting, and its unobtrusive design will not stand out. All things being equal, ASUS has concentrated on common sense features. The PA279 CV has two HDMI ports and a DisplayPort 1.2 association close by a USB-C port that handles DisplayPort, information move, and a strong 65 watt of force conveyance, enough to run a PC or charge a telephone. There are four standard size USB ports on this board, with a couple of them helpfully introduced on the display. There are a lot of ergonomic choices as well. The ASUS has a liberal 150mm of level change close by slant and turn development, and it can swing into picture mode. It likewise upholds VESA mounting. The base bezel is designed as a ruler, and there's a flawless instrument where a lattice can be overlaid on the display at different normal sizes. Picture quality, magnificent sRGB picture quality, with incredible precision, differentiation and profundity. Insufficient splendor or range capacity for HDR or Adobe RGB assignments. Consistency is alright, yet not exactly sufficient for harder undertakings. The ASUS ProArt PA279 CV conveyed great picture quality out of the container. Its Delta E of 1.04 is first rate, and way better than the sub-2.0 figure promised by ASUS. 
Join this with the close wonderful variety T temperature of 6477 Kelvin and the fabulous gamma normal of 2.21 and you have a screen that renders tones with a pixel ideal degree of precision. The PA279CV conveyed a splendor level of 310 nits and a dark mark of 0.3, and they made a difference proportion of 1033 to 1. That is a decent outcome, and it implies that you get incredible dynamic quality and subtlety without the display becoming oversaturated. The dark point could be a piece better, however, somewhat more profundity would have been gladly received. In any case, that is a minor objection that won't end imaginative and variety touchy jobs. The quality levels were kept up with the display toned down to half of its unique splendor level, which is more reasonable for a regular office climate. At the opposite finish of the scale the PA279CV hits a greatest splendor level of 373 nits. That is strong, yet to a great extent futile, excessively splendid for ordinary work yet not brilliant enough to empower proper HDR use. Range tests just affirmed the ASUS absence of HDR capacity. The PA279CV delivered a heavenly 98% of the sRGB space at 110% volume. However, the screen just displayed 77.9% of the DCI-P3 range and 74.5% of the Adobe RGB space. So while you can hypothetically utilize the DCI-P3 preset to work in HDR content on this board, it won't display well. This isn't the screen to purchase for HDR or Adobe RGB jobs. The Asus ProArt PA279CV subverted its brilliant sRGB brings about consistency tests, as well. The backdrop illumination loses 13% of its solidarity in the base left corner, which is ordinary. However, 20% of the backdrop illumination disappears in the right-hand side and 17% is lost in the base right corner. It will not be problematic for some standard work assignments, yet it's not adequate on the off chance that you want all of precision conceivable. For very good quality professional jobs, I'd favor consistency deviations to sit underneath 10%. The PA279CV is a decent professional screen at the cost. However, it's more qualified to standard imaginative errands and video work than anything really top of the line or anything that needs HDR or Adobe RGB capacity. The modes and features support those yearnings, and they're underlined by heavenly sRGB variety precision and difference, close by some disappointing execution and trickier departments. Finally, thanks for watching this video, see you again next time.